Today we will have an overview of the Coffee Cup Free HTML Editor. This is actually a very nice and useful editor. The only problem that I sometimes have with it is that it puts in paths a little funny. Sometimes it works well with paths, sometimes it doesn't. Um, in the tool menu, at the bottom, preferences, here is where you can do some customization. For example, I have changed my initial doc type to HTML5 out of the choices available to me. There are other things that we can customize. You can program the editor so that it, it tests in different browsers, and this is the tab where you would do it. The Folders tab. And this is where you can set a default working folder and a default images folder. And I have that set. It seems to help with the paths. And there are other customizations that you can do. Um, one, of, one that I generally do is I modify the highlightings, the um, font, and the text that I like to use in the actual editor. This does not interfere at all with the actual output of the code. So here we see the menu bar. We have the pane on the right. What I like about the editor is that we have direct access to our files and folders. And by the way, on the left-hand side, there are tabs. You want to probably be in the My Computer tab to actually see your computer. And here I have a demo. This is my working folder, my demo coffee cup. And I already have two folders, an images folder and a tips folder. And I can expand and collapse, just like I do in Windows Explorer. Uh, these little bars are all movable, uh, because, of course, this is um, a Windows program. So here we can move. All right. OK, so let's take a look at um, how we open up a file. From the File menu, I can go to File, New HTML page. And here it puts the actual code here. Uh, notice it gave me a lot of meta tags that I may not need. I'm going to get rid of most of them. I will keep the, the meta tag that tells me that it's a UTF-8 document. That is the standard encoding, and that goes along with the HTML5 um, doc type. Notice we have some code here. It's inside what's called a conditional comment, which are, is covered later in this class. And we have some JavaScript being called. There is the opening and closing script tag. This is calling some JavaScript actually from a site that gives us some code. And this is called the HTML shim or HTML shiv. And what that does is it, it allows browsers that do not understand HTML5, such as Internet Explorer 8, to recognize the new elements. OK, so one nice thing about the editor, we have our HTML tag, our head, our title. We do not have to type in our basic tags. OK, let me save this. So I will go to the File menu, and I will say Save As. And because I have set my working folder, it takes me automatically into it, or else I can navigate to it. I'm going to save it. It automatically saves it with an HTML extension. I will call it index because this will be my home page. Once that file has been saved, uh, there is a tab in um, the bottom of the, of the editor here that shows me that this is open because it is highlighted. It's actually the only one that's open. Notice I see my file right away. Here it is. All right, so I am going to type in home page. And a nice thing about the editor, now you don't have to use every tool it gives you, although it does give you some nice tools. I can insert some code automatically. So I can select my text, as I would in, say, Microsoft Word. I can go up to the Insert tab. And here again, it's, oh, no, I'm not going to go to the Insert tab. I'm going to go to this A tab. Here again, it's a matter of becoming familiar with the interface. Now, these font commands we're not going to use because they are deprecated, but I can make it a header. It will automatically insert. Now, supposing I want to center this, I can click and I can start typing in my style attribute. 
and this is called IntelliSense. It actually, the editor can help you type in code. It figures out, well, this is probably what you're typing. So I click, and there it is. And notice now it's giving me some more help. I can, it has the, my double quotes. I can start typing in the text hyphen align attribute. Now, it didn't pick up on that. Sometimes it does. Colon, now it knows that I probably might want to center it. Notice it does insert the semicolon at the end of the expression here. Okay, and a nice thing about the editor, I can preview this before I actually save it. Now, one thing about this preview, it is previewed with the default browser, although if you have other browsers set, you can actually test it with additional browsers. Now, um, sometimes you want to actually open this. All right, and when I say test in browser, this will actually pop the browser up. Sometimes you really don't want to just use the um, the preview pane window because it doesn't work 100% effectively when the code starts becoming a little bit more involved. All right, now supposing I wanted to insert a, an image to my page. All right, now here's my images folder. Okay, uh, and if I double click, I have cam shots. There's my graphic. So it shows me the graphic. And if I right click on this graphic and I go down to views, um, it's hard to see because I'm off the, off the screen right now. So let me just pull this up. If I can pull this all the way up real fast. There we go. Okay, if I right click, there we are. I can actually view my images as icons. All right, very nice. Okay, so if we have this nice little image tool. Notice you need to watch out where your cursor is. I can insert the image. It takes me into the images folder where I actually am. I can select the image. It actually gives me a preview. It allows me to use my alt attribute. And I can put a title if I'd like. It will automatically insert the width and the height um, and the border, and we'll talk about those attributes later. So here we have our inserted code. One thing where it still is using XHTML syntax, so you have to manually get rid of that forward slash. All right, so here we have our image tag, and I can preview, and there we go. All right, so I'm going to save this. There's my familiar looking save button. All right, so, and one thing that I do make sure of when I am working, I try to make sure that I work in the right folder. So I'm going back to my demo folder. Okay, now this is my root. This is the root where my web page, my index is, and I have two folders in here. All right, now I'm going to create another file. All right, so I'm going to say File New, New HTML Page. I will get rid of what I don't need here. And I'm just going to call this page 2 real fast. I'm just going to call this page 2. And let me just real quickly, I will just put a heading tag on it just so that it looks half decent. I'm not even going to bother centering this. Okay, so I am going to save this. File save as. All right, I'm going to call this page 2. And there we are. All right, now notice in my tab here I have two HTML files open. I also have two here. And notice that I changed my view from list view to icon view. So my my view is changing in here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to change that back to details because I prefer working in details. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so you can see what pages you have open if you want to go back and forth to a page. It's a matter of clicking on that tab. All right, I'm going to link page two to the home page. All right, so I'm just going to type in a phrase home page. And this is what's really nice about the editor. It puts in a lot of, does a lot of the work for you. I can select, this is the hyperlink uh, text. Up here we have our link tool. All right, so where are we going? We're not going to a URL. I'm going out to my file manager. And I'm going to link it to page two. Here it is. All right, should I want to target it, which I do not, should I want to put a title, a tooltip, homepage, homepage. 
All right, we're going to. Oh, actually, we're we're not going to the home page. We're not going to page two. We're going to the home page. Sorry about that. We're going to index. All right, there we go. I say okay. All right, there we are. Puts in the code for you. Now I can save this. I can preview it. Notice I can click, and lo and behold, there's my home page. And notice, even the preview um, area, I get my arrows, similar to the browser, so I can go back and forth. All right, now we have three tabs. The visual editor doesn't work unless you pay for it. So I'm going back into the code editor. All right, one more time. I am get Now notice in my tips folder, I have a, a file called tips. All right, so we're going to look at some additional paths. All right, I'm going to go to my home page. There's index. All right. Underneath my image, I'm going to put a couple breaks. Now, I do have a page break up here. And like I said before, it puts the XHTML syntax, even though we have the doc type. All right, I'm sure in the newer versions, it will probably change that. It took forever to get that forward slash in. Now it's time to take it out. Okay, we're going to go to the tips page. So I'm just going to type in tips. Let me select this and make a link out of it so I can go up to my link. Now, this is my hyperlink. It shows me my hypertext. That is the clickable text. And I am going to, I am in the root. I am going to go down into the tips folder. I am going to select the tips.html. And I'm going to say OK. And notice, because I am in the root, the tips folder is underneath me. We reference the name of the folder, and then we reference the name of the file, similar to what we did in the image. We reference the name of the folder, and we reference the name of the file. So if I save this, and I preview, and I go All right, backing up here. All right, so we go into the tips folder. Um, this is the home page. I click on tips. There's tips. All right, we go back. All right. Now, back into the code editor, and let me put um, an H2 around here just to, so that it looks bigger than the rest. Now, I'm going to link back to the home page. Okay, so we are actually one level below the root, so I will select. I will click my tool up here. Okay, so this is the hypertext that is clickable. Okay. It's it should have put dot dot slash there. Like I said, sometimes this editor acts weird, but it should have put dot dot slash to go up one. So if I preview that and I click home page, there it is. Now when I was practicing earlier, it put dot dot slash. Now it's not. Like I said, it gets kind of funny some sometimes. All right, but this is the way that we do it with the dot, dot, slash indicates that we are going up one level into the root, and then we are accessing index.html. So this is um, the editor, and I will be using this to show you some of the additional code samples in the future.